Episode 3 of Moon Knight was released today and here is my review. And we got a lot to talk about. Episode 3 is the midpoint of Moon Knight TV show and for me personally 6 episodes just doesn't feel like it's going to be enough to flesh out everything. Of course the next 3 episodes could give us what we want to establish and flesh out everything. The first thing I want to talk about is and it's something that I actually forgot to mention in my last video of my review of Moon Knight episode 2 which you can watch by clicking the card or going to the link in the description below. Also subscribe for more Moon Knight, Marvel, Star Wars, DC and gaming content. But in the end of episode 2 we see who we all thought was Mark Spector in a room overlooking Cairo but what if I said this wasn't actually mark or even steven that it's another person well throughout today's episode we see mark blanking in and out not knowing what is going on around him and in one scene we see both steven and mark talking where mark asks steven what did you do where steven replies i didn't do this and if we remember in the last two episodes we are led to believe the person with the body has full control now if we go off the comics there are multiple personalities too we already know and have seen both mark specter and stephen grant but there is another one who is a very brutal and violent person or personality named jake lockley he just murdered these people like they were nothing and i actually read a comment on some french website on moon Knight. i have no clue how i got onto this website but i did and they actually said it's possible that Jake Lockley was the person who made the date in episode 1 with the woman at the museum because Stephen doesn't even remember asking her out. And to be honest, how awkward Stephen is, I can't see him doing that. I will say Oscar Isaac has portrayed the mental health and the kind of split personality disorder really really well and many people can actually look at the mental health and be like, I'm kind of going through some of this stuff right now and hopefully, hopefully these people can reach out and get help. Oscar Isaac shown us yet again his incredible talent. It's like he is Steven and he is Mark and that he is going through all these things just shows how much of an amazing actor he is. Another part of the episode I want to talk about is the meeting of gods where Khonshu speaks through Mark by taking the body every time he wants to talk. Which was funny but this whole scene could have been done better in my personal opinion especially with Arthur Harrow's defence against the claim that was brought against him by Mark and the way he b basically just gaslit the hell out of Mark Spector for having multiple personalities and Ethan Hawke's performance as Arthur Harrow again was just incredible. He's just stone cold and I don't want to say brainwashed but kind of like that for Amit and it's really interesting to see because of Mark losing the trail for Amit. Mark has to find another way to find the tomb which he does and the tomb is actually located on the black market and the tomb was owned by Antoine who was played by the actor Gaspard Uwilly I think I'm saying that name right I'm sorry if I aren't who died a while back and from what I felt from this scene he was going to be a really really good actor who sadly passed away too early then when everything hits the fan and Mark is putting on the Moon Knight armor and then fighting the men, Stephen takes over, he gets stabbed and then tells Mark to take back over. It was funny but the fighting scene then got really really brutal which I enjoyed with Spears going into Mark or Moon Knight and when he was pinned down we see Antoine is riding a horse with a spear to basically kill Layla and Mark is able to break free kill the people around him and save Layla and then throwing his weapon at Antoine, the Moon Knight weapon, why he rides away into the blackness and as always if we don't see the person die on screen then they aren't dead so we more than likely will be seeing more of Antoine. When they have the map and they are in the desert they try to figure it out and they finally do and it is a map of the stars and constellations and Conchu says to Stephen he remembers that night and he can turn back to that night. They can figure out where the tomb is which Kanshu shows Stephen how to do and they do it and Kanshu tells Stephen to tell Mark to free him because it then switches over and back to the other avatars in the pyramid creating Kanshu out of sandstone and imprisoning him in his own statue. Where we then see Kanshu disappear kind of like uh, the snap 
did where people just dusted and Stephen passed out. What will happen to Stephen or Mark in the next two episodes without Khonshu to help them? Will Stephen be stuck in the body or could it be Mark or could it even be Jake Lockley? Who really knows? The final scene I want to talk about is Arthur Harrow talking to Khonshu and thanking him for breaking him and forging him into what he is today. And if he wins, he owes the victory to Khonshu for making him who he is today, which man, that scene, oh god damn, that was amazing. Jeez, Ethan Hawke's performance has been as good as Oscar Isaac's and it's incredibly good to see. I really like this MC project and in my personal opinion this is one of the greatest Marvel TV show series since Daredevil and I am excited for the future of the quote unquote dark side of Marvel and excited for the next episode of Moon Knight as well.